he's doing great and it's not fair to him to face the possibility that he'll be destabilized by withdrawing um, his medication. It's not fair for any of the kids. At a young age, Kathleen Hyde's son came out to her as transgender. For the last few years, he has been in therapy and on puberty blockers. The approach that we've had with our current treatment team is a very conservative approach. Um, they are absolutely not rushing kids into any interventions. Um, they're really, really taking their time. Being just weeks away from turning 13, he will not be allowed this care when the law goes into effect next year. Hyde says they are looking at other states where he can go every few months to get a prescription. For now, they don't want to leave their home state. My son is a ninth generation Louisiana, and I don't want to leave Louisiana. Our decision is going to be based on what comes in the next year or two as far as potential legislation that may be introduced. But for some families, they don't want to stick around. How can we stay here? Destiny Mink says that her child has had a hard time finding support in their school and community. We're being called groomers for simply, you know, protecting our child, accepting our child, supporting our child. While they don't receive medication, the rise in anti-LGBTQ legislation has Mink and her family looking at other states to move to. We did think about staying just to advocate, but I feel like just doors are just getting slammed in our faces left and right. Dr. Clifton Mixon with Forum for Equality provides counseling for transgender kids. He says he is scared of what will happen to the kids who have to come off these treatments or will have to wait long Longer to get them. And what we're going to see is kids are going to decline pretty quickly as their body starts to change around them in a way that is not consistent with who they are. During the veto override session, lawmakers claimed that the legislation is unconstitutional and could end up in the courts as it has in many other states, while others maintain their belief that families should not have this care as an option for their kids. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.